Okay, so a little bit of outside flexion because her shoulders are a little bit too far to the outside of the circle. Good. And alternate leg. Good, and then relax and a little bit of left flexion. Being really, really careful where her shoulder is because if she gets out of alignment at all, she can't do the collected work. Go to all change direction. Right knee. And not even about the change of direction, mostly about the fact that she put her shoulder to the right it was a little bit crooked. Sit up nice and tall, nice and square in your shoulder. And then transition to halt. And walk. Good, and let's warm up the trot. <clears throat> Paying really close attention to where her shoulder is. Change your posing diagonal. Um, you have half the energy you need. You need to be a little tap. These are whip a little bit. Tap, tap, tap. Collection isn't slow. Collection is lifted energy. So the energy has to be significant enough to get the job done, and then it's lifted energy. So when you warm up, even if you're going to end up in collection, you want big movement at first, and then it's big movement that's lifted. It's actually, collection is high energy. Go ahead, not low energy. A little more. A little more energy. Uh-huh. Now put it a little bit deeper in her frame. Good. And a little bit of outside flex. Good. And relax. When you do take your inside flex, you might need to support with your outside knee so you don't lose the shoulder. Good. And forward. And forward. Good. Good. And lengthen the trot of the circle. Uh-huh. Relax, or bend her a little bit to the right. Support with your outside knee. Good, and slower the energy. The energy is still high, but slower tempo. Good. Right flexion, outside knee. So she doesn't pop her shoulder. Sinead. Right flexion, good. Sinead. Sinead. Stand a little stronger as you pull the to warm up. up here. Yeah. Especially your lower stomach. Good, and go in the circle by A. Okay, and go ahead and K to B, change direction. I can't sit with us. And circle right here. Outside knee helps so she doesn't pop her shoulder out with that flex. Go ahead. Outside knee, don't let her pop her shoulder. Good. Very good. And lengthen her trot, but don't want to poke her nose out, right? No nose poking out, which she did last time for you. Good. And push. There you go. Now bring her back. Yep. A little quicker in your hip and a little bit more half halt on your right rein. Yes. 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 Right rein, right knee. She's popped her shoulder out to the right a little bit. Good. Good, and we're going to warm up the canter. This is already better movement you had in your test. Your test was slow and sluggish yesterday. You have no chance if you're riding second level and you get a little sluggish. It's like over. Go ahead and canter. Has to be really bravely forward and then lifted up. Okay. Stand. When you right here, it's weight in your feet. Pull, pull, a little bit. Pull with your tummy. Yeah, yes. You see it come up hill? Good. If she can't, just yes. Toes ahead. Let your hip be looser. Good. Good. Outside half up. 
stand pull, stand pull. Pull is in reference to your stump, lower stomach. Yeah, yeah, so she can come up. Okay? Her shoulders popped out, your right knee has a job. Adjust that. Right rein, right knee. Can't be crooked. It causes problems in your counter canter. Good. Then lengthen your canter and keep it straight on the, on the bend. And I mean push, push with no pop out. Very good. Now quicken your hip and collect her. Stand pull, stand pull. Outside half out. Yes. Outside half out. Yep, legs on. Good job. Good. She's a little bit too hollow. A little bit outside her outside knee. Her sh she's got her shoulder popped out. Good. Good. Hip is quicker than that, and her shoulder's gone. You have no chance. You couldn't do a canter walk at this point. Align the shoulder up. Good. And walk. So yesterday when you didn't get your canter walk, what was wrong with it? The shoulders popped out, right? Be really ca careful that you have her aligned uh, like you need her. No. <clears throat> we're going to go on this line, Sorry, and then we're going to travel to the right. Hold it. Right knee, right leg. Yes, transition to canter. Good. And circle. Shoulders back. Pull your tummy. Stand, pull, stand, pull. Basically, weight in your feet. Pull your tummy. So when you do that, you lighten your seat, which is kinder, but you better be more assertive with your lower stomach. And that's how she comes uphill, with a light, assertive seat. Good. And yesterday, you were bouncing a little bit in the canter. Good. Half halt. Half halt. Full body. It's weight in your feet. Up, up, pull up in front. Yes. You give her that muscle so she can come up. Good. Very good. Uh, she's not quite up enough. You kind of lost the height, so push, push with your lower leg. Pull with your tummy. Sit light and be effective. Right flexion. Good. Straight down the long side. Your reins are too long and therefore she comes above a bit. Circle. Doesn't matter. Yeah, right bold and forward. Yes. Deeper. Good. And transition to canter. Yep. Good. Make sure your reins are short enough. Outside knee. Yep. The issue in the canter is alignment. Alignment. If you don't, if you don't have alignment, you can't collect your horse. Good. 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 So you have an inside bend, but you have a supporting outside knee so the shoulder doesn't get out of whack. Very good. So she's bent, but she's not popping her shoulder. Very good. And half halt, half halt, center to the walk. Yes. See how much easier that is? Okay. So you understand that alignment is critical. Go ahead and give her a little breather. So we clean that up right away. And really got to be careful about the alignment. Once, by the way, she struggles because she's a muscular horse who's not flexing. So if you lose alignment, she's done as far as being able to get that job done. So we're going to practice a couple of the most difficult pieces of that test. We're going to go ahead after you relax, and we're going to do the canter serpentines with no change of lead. And then we're going to do the diagonal line canter walk canter, which is hard, right? You have to keep the alignment while you get that done. Don't have to tap on But before we do that, I think we're going to loosen her another way. Go ahead and <clears throat> walk and walk on contact. And on the outside track. At H, I want you to turn the haunches. 
and then straight down alongside a medium trot. Shorten your reins. If she pokes her nose out, it's kind of over. Yep. Yep. Leg stays on. Turn your body. Half out soft. Half out soft. Half out soft. Half out soft. Half out soft, soft. And trot. Medium. Go. Yeah. Push. Yes. Okay. And walk. And turn the haunches. Walk. There you go. Outside half out. Now soft. Now soft. All to the leg. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Medium trot. Now. Push. Rain stay back. If you let her pull her nose out, there is no medium. Yeah, that one wasn't even as good as your first one. I don't know what happened there. Go ahead and walk. And turn the haunches. Has to be much more bold than that is. Yeah. Turn the haunches. Yeah, you got to have her belt left. Or her right, sorry. Good. And trot. I didn't invert that very well. Big. Pull. Pull. Pull with your stomach as you try. There you go. And walk. And turn the haunches. Outside, inside, outside, inside. That's your leg. Outside, inside, outside, inside. What, don't forget your half halt. Good. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Good. And medium trot. Sitting. Pull. Pull with your stomach a little. Okay. And bring her back and walk. Yep. Tighten up your tummy, outside, inside, outside, inside, so she knows what she's getting into. Outside, inside, good. Outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, good. And medium trot sitting. Push. Good. And relax and walk. <clears throat> good. And A, transition to canter. Shorten your reins. Align your horse. Left knee. Good. Stand, stand pull. Come on. Don't just follow. You lead her up that hill. Good. Very good. She comes up that hill. If you don't have an uphill carry, you get a five. Good. Nicely done. You lead her. She's with you. Good. Serpentina three loops with the marina. Alignment, alignment, alignment. Left knee has a big job. Uh, right knee has a big job, sorry. It's morning yet. Good. Good. So your right knee has a big job. She can't pop her shoulder to the right. We're going to do the serpentine this time. Yep. Right knee has a big job. She can't bend much, right? She has to stay with it. Yes, yes, yes. Right knee has a big, big job. Good. Good. Yes, like a leg yield off that left leg. Good. Medium canter. Down the long side. Take her. Take her. Now stand pull, stand pull. Half halt, half halt. Yes, come on, uphill, uphill. Good. Avoid the mud. Good. Good. Change direction. P to S. You're going to do a walk, right? Half alt, half alt, half alt, and set her down. Yes, you were ready and you were aligned and can her. That's the piece that's the hardest part in two, three. Go to circle 20 meters at sea. Think about your uphill thing. Thinking about how you're going to ride it and not the pattern. Good. Up, up, stand, stand pull. Yes. Weight in your feet. When you lighten your seat and make your stomach more effective, it works. Good. Now let's do a serpentine. Stand pull. Stand pull. Stand pull. Stand pull. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Left knee keeps her aligned. Stay, stand pull. Stand pull. Yeah. Yeah. Inside leg steers her. The right leg steers her. Good. Stand pull. Good. Medium care on the next long side. And go. Big. Up. Uphill. Now put her back together. Stand pull. Up. 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 R to V. Change direction. Prep for your canter walk. Canter. But you got to be up. 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 Leg. Stand pull. Stand pull. Stand pull. And stop with your body. Yeah. That gets you a four. 
and canter. Good. P to S. Canter in place before you walk. Stand pull. Stand up, 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 and walk. That's better. And canter. Right. Good. So thinking about cantering in place, not even gaining any forward ground. Circle 20 meters at C. Practice that. Don't gain ground. Up. Set. It's like a peel of the McCann almost. It's uphill. Uphill. Yes. That is a walkable canter. Good. Now M to E. Change direction. Walkable canter. Uphill. 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 And set her down. Yeah, you kind of gave up there, yeah? <laughs> you kind of said, oh my goodness, I missed it, and then you kind of went mellow in your seat, and then it was over. And transition to canter. Yep, circle 20 meters. One full circle. And then, when you, then next time you're here, we're going to do a walk transition and change direction. and walk. Okay, canter. Yeah, good in circle. This is the easier line. Go in the circle still. Outside left knee. Good. Very good. Uh, it's a mediocre canter. It's not a walkable canter. Push, push, push. Think, canter, halt. Half halt, half halt, and halt. Ah, uh, you, you kind of didn't, you weren't committed, canter. You have to be completely committed, yeah? Go ahead. Committed. And? Canter, canter, yep, and halt, and run, run and back up. Rain back. Go ahead and forward. And canter. Go ahead. On three, you're going to halt again, is one, two, three, and halt. Back up. Your halt request is really wimpy. It's too much hoping and, and canter. You're, you're, yes, it's all for high end. You feel that? Good. Stay in a circle. One more. More. She's not uphill enough. Stand pull. Stand pull. Stand pull. Good. Now your walk request is going to feel like a rain back. Stand pull. Stand pull. And halt. Okay. Next time. Stand pull. Stand pull. And set her down. Yes. And walk to the left. And canter. So if she doesn't listen to your down request, the rain back is going to help you solve that. Go in the circle. This is what has to be in your warm-up for 2-3. If you can't do that hardest piece of the test, then that kind of it gets you in a spot. Good. And canter forward. Like a medium canter on the circle. Uphill. Uphill. Use your whip. That's not enough response. There you go. One more response. Good. Now a little quicker in your hips. Stand pull. Up, 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 up. Up. Up release, up release, up release. Up, up, and walk. Better done. And can't right. Lovely. Good job. Circle. Uh-uh. It's crappy. It's like a five or a six. Fix that. Don't accept that. Up. Leg, leg, leg. It's a six. It's not a seven. There's more in there. Up, up, up. Stand pull. Stand pull. Stand pull. Good. Wait, your feet. Put your tummy. Push. Pu yep. Yep. And walk. Yes! Better. And let her relax a little bit. We'll finish up with some trot work. But that, that was better, yes? Okay. Ten minutes.
Understand the desire to be friendly, and you can be friendly within each stride. You just have to be extremely directive. Um, everything comes up so fast. If you lose your balance, you can't do the test. If you lose your balance at all, laterally, if you get out of alignment, you have trouble. And longitudinally, you're going to have trouble. You're not going to be able to center down to the walk. The other piece that was the most difficult for you in your chest was haunches in. That's what I want to touch on, yeah? That gets you in a fair amount of trouble. You don't get enough angle. And then she almost goes uneven on you. Okay. So let's go ahead and pick her up into the walk. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. The unevenness comes from the lack of bend, um, if that makes sense. That's where the unevenness comes from. If she doesn't bend her body, she can't step evenly under. Good in transition to sitting trot. The other thing is you can use your lower tummy to help steadily go po. So, you know, as she brings you forward with your tummy, you can, bring, you can bring her forward. You can keep the steps even with the way you encourage her with your hip. Good. Good. On the circle, medium trot. You're going to have it hard because you don't have enough energy. I'm showing you that it's going to be almost impossible. Yeah? Leg. So, if you can't do anything from where, if you can't, Go into the medium and go into the halt. Your trot isn't good enough. That's what your internal question has to be tweaked with. It has to be, do, can I do anything from here? And if your answer is no, it has to be better. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah. Yes. Good. Now try a medium. A little bit more weight in your feet. And, yeah. Better. Good. And then bring her back. Good. And a medium again. Yeah. Yep, more. Yeah, you threw her, you threw her way in front. Your elbows went forward. You have no chance then. Elbows stay back. Elbows stay back. Go ahead. Now, push, push, and there you go. Outside rain. 